serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world. This is the Show Me Sports Network. The following is an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and is a high fidelity all digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited. It's time for Steven Stars Basketball on the Show Me Sports Network. This is the Steven Stars Basketball pregame show on the exclusive home for Stars Basketball, the Show Me Sports Network. We'll recap last game's highlights, set the stage for tip-off, and even get the thoughts of the head coach during the pregame show. All while we get set to bring you the exciting play-by-play action of your Steven Stars. The best broadcast coverage in mid-Missouri is on the air as Blake Gasaway and the crew are ready in the broadcast booth. Exclusive pregame coverage of Steven Stars Basketball Basketball is brought to you by Avon with Michelle Carty, Boone County Journal, Centurion Cares, Eddie Goodell Society, Embrace the Curve, Han Custom Laser Engraving, LLC, Hallsville Athletic Boosters, Kathy Rush, Remax Realty, Last Sentinel Firearms, River Oak Christian Academy, Sawdust Studios, Southern Boone Booster Club, Law Offices of Russ Swanigan, Southwest Dental Care, and State Tech of Missouri. The excitement is building in the stands and the tension is rising in the locker rooms as tip-off is just around the corner. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stephen Starr's basketball on the Stars Radio Network, simulcast with video on Team One Sports. Now here's the voice of the Show Me Sports Network and the Stars Radio Network, Blake Gasaway. And a very pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Blake Gazaway here with you as we are just over 12 minutes away from getting our ball game today tipped off as the Steven Stars finally get to play at home in front of their home crowd here at Deb Duran Court and Silverthorne Arena here in Columbia, Missouri, as they are hosting the Connie College Comets out of Nevada, Missouri. The two teams matching up. Here early in the season, a record of 2-1 and one for the Stars. For the Comets, they sit at 4-6 and six on their season. So they've had a few more games, but they are set to, uh, reading a little bit up on them, I actually am from Nevada, so very familiar with the Comets, was doing a little follow-up on them. They are set to join the AMC next year for the 2022 and 2023 season. So these two teams will then become a conference rival and a conference opponent. But for today's game, it is just another game. But most importantly, gets the home season underway for the Stars as they have played on the road. They've actually had four contests. One of those was just an exhibition game. They got started off in a uh, tournament with a couple of games. Clear back on the 5th and 6th of the uh, November earlier this month, they lost their first game of the season. That was on the road to the uh, Crantley Ridge College team. That was a 78-71 final, and they beat Randall University the next day in that tournament. That was a 71-63 win. Then they traveled to Indiana State University. That was on the 9th to uh, play an exhibition game. That was an 88-33 game. Obviously, uh, a little difference on the program makes up there, but iron sharpens iron. That's why you do those exhibition games, because those uh, Stars players walked out stronger, better, and faster after that game. And then the last matchup for the Stars was on the 13th, so a week ago from today, as they traveled to Iowa to take on Graceland University. That was a 67-61 final that uh, they got there. Big game there, as it was a two-point game at the end of the first quarter, two-point game at halftime. However, the Stars were able to maintain the lead and extend it a little bit in the second half. They were helped out by quite a few turnovers. They had uh, 24 turnovers that they took away from Graceland University. Turned that into 26 points on those turnovers, so that uh, helped propel them to the win as well as uh, they also had uh, 33 points and three rebounds from junior guard Allison Moore. She really had a uh, knack for finding the bucket and uh, really came on strong there in the second half for her squad as they pick up that final 
that uh, win by the final of 67 to 61. And uh, team free throw shooting also became a big thing as uh, down the stretch, Grayson was put in a position where they had to foul. The Yellow Jackets had no choice but to start fouling and put the Stars at the line, which they did. However, the Stars were able to make those free throws and lengthen that lead out and uh, get the victory. As we said, they sit with a record of 2-1 and one on the season. No AMC games yet as they will get those started here a few games from today. They are riding a two-game win streak. As I said, this is their first game of the season at home as head coach first year here for Andre Bell. He sits with a record for the Stars at 2-1. and one. This program coming off of last year, they finished 10th in the AMC. That was the 1-13 uh, and 13th season. They finished with a 1-12 and 12 record in conference play and finished in 10th place. But so far, things are looking up for the Stars as last year they were averaging 48.6 points a game. This year, they're coming into today's contest averaging 69.7 points. They were allowing 69.3 points. That put them ninth out of 10 teams in the uh, conference last year. This year, they're allowing 67.3 points a game. Their field goal percentage was just 306 for the season. They enter with these four games under their belt, only three of those obviously counting, hitting a 435 mark. Beyond the arc, they were hitting a 195 last year. This year, they're hitting a 225 coming into the game. And at the free throw line, they were hitting a 688 last year. That put them sixth in the AMC. And uh, right now, they are sitting at a 78.5%. That puts them third in the conference. So, again, much improved team here as uh, – not to take anything away from the team last year by any means, but there were definitely some adverse things they had to work through. So new coach Andre Bell has uh, got them on the winning track, and they look to get the win today against Cotty. And Cotty comes in. They're riding their own two-game win streak. They sit at 4-6. and six. As I said, they're set to join the AMC next year. As uh, their last action, they got a 78-50 to 50 win over the Kansas Christian College, that was on Thursday. Olivia Pritch, she led the team with 22 points. Taylor Koontz had 16 points as well. So they also have an act to get some points on the board. We will take a quick break and be back. I want to tell you that uh, you can watch today's game on Team One Sports. Go to the Stevens Stars Athletics page, and it's got the link there. We uh, didn't have a little bit of technical difficulty, so unable to get my audio with the video. But the good news is you can pull up the video. You can pull up the Show Me Sports Network Media Center and just run both of those. And for the most part, it should be, I think, linked up just about right. Might be, might be a hair behind the video, but we will continue to work on that and uh, get that solved for later on in the future. Another great thing, too, about... Our broadcast is we archive all the games, so anywhere you can find podcasts, you can pull up the broadcast and hear that after. Give me a little bit of time, like a day or two, but I'll get that uploaded, and anywhere you can hear podcasts, you can find those archive games, and uh, just a good way to go back and listen to them. I listen to them as well, critique them, and uh, see if we have any other things we need to work on, so just another great feature from the Show Me Sports Network. Again, we're making our Debut, not our broadcast debut. We've been hard at it. I believe this is broadcast 54. I think that's where we're at is number 54. That is since June 2nd of this year. So we've been hard at work sending you all kinds of games with the Jefferson City Renegades baseball this summer. We also had uh, Hallsville Indians postseason football. We had Southern Boone County Eagles, Eagles uh, football as well. We're looking to cover both of those for basketball. And uh, most importantly, we've got this new partnership with Stevens College that we will be bringing you basketball for all the home games. A few of the road games we'll bring you as well. And uh, we look to expand that, obviously, next year. But for this year, that's what we're going to do. And then we'll carry over. And uh, they have other sports here, but definitely carry over into softball. And also look to cover volleyball next year, as well as soccer. But both of those seasons coming to a uh, close here in the last couple of weeks, both having great seasons, much improved again. Athletics here at Stevens College, not taking anything away from previous squads, but athletics much, much improved here. And that's what we like to see. So we are looking forward to partnering with them to bring you coverage as we go throughout the season here 
As I said, with basketball, particularly the home games and some select road games, but we are working on getting you more coverage to showcase all the Stars Athletics here on the Show Me Sports Network. So we're going to take a quick break and then be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform with a guarantee of 100% American-made products. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Yeah, the County Comets have made their way back to their locker room here for just a little bit. The Stars out shooting around as we see the officials also come out of their locker room, so they are set for today's game, as we said, the home opener here at Deb Durin Court and Silver Thorn Arena here in Columbia, Missouri. Blake Gasaway here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. We'll be bringing you coverage of all the home games and select road games for the Steven Stars this season. As I said, you can also catch the video side. We were unable to get our two systems linked together, but I think we maybe have the an idea on what the issue is. So. Won't happen for today's game, but you can catch that on Team One Sports or just go to the Steven Stars Athletic page and they will direct you there. Just click on the Watch Live link and you can pull that up and view that as well. A couple of students up here have been working hard to make that broadcast happen. We're just a couple minutes away from getting our ball game tipped off. We'll also get you... Our starting lineups here in just a little bit. Busy day here in Columbia. Of course, Mizzou Athletics, they are in action today. Can you remember what game time it was for them? But they are at home at Faroe Field. They are hosting Florida. That is a was a 1 o'clock kickoff, so... That game underway just down the road. Wouldn't say cross town, just down the road a little ways from us here at Silverthorne Arena on campus of Stevens College here in Columbia, Missouri. As I said, we'll get the starting lineups here in just one second. We're busy trying to fix things. Didn't actually get down to get them from the scores table, but we will pick them up as they go over them on the PA. We said first game, kind of sometimes some things you got to work through. So we will pick those up in just a second. So we do have a couple of signees here. So we're going to have the National Anthem, so we're actually going to pause here real quick. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
Biblical Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers Kinder Prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students, with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder Prep offerings include three and five full day sessions, with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573 634 3983. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom. Using large format, high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. This state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Visit HanCustomLaserEngraving.myshopify.com or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business perfect right actually we were thinking of rome i know an agent there look at this view this place is unbelievable it's beautiful we've been looking at jamaica oh, wow. i know an agent there welcome to jamaica we love, <laughs> oh, we it. love it but we're thinking about tokyo mm-hmm. i know a guy you know an agent, too. It's Kathy Rush at Remax Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. Monta Descosa. They will start a 5'7 sophomore, Taylor Kuntz. She's from Rich Hill, Missouri, just up the road from my hometown. They will start a 5'6 guard, Olivia Pruitt. A 5'7 guard, a freshman, Sarah Munson. And a 5'7 forward, sophomore, and Giannis Rodriguez taking a look at the starters. Just picking these up real quick. They will start for the Stars. They will start a 5'10 sophomore guard from Cow Creek, South Dakota. That's Marvin Ross. We'll start a 5'9 guard who's a sophomore from Mobile, Alabama, Alexis Scott Windham. We'll start a 5'8 junior guard from Paris, Missouri in Allison Moore. A 5'8 sophomore guard from Omaha, Nebraska in Addie Stalzer. And a 5'10 forward. She's a sophomore from Rockford, Illinois in Mylesha Ezefor. So that will be their starting five. Stevens coached by Andre Bell. First year here sitting in a record of 2-1 on the season. As Ezra Four will meet... In center circle, she will match up with Kuntz. It's 5-7 against 5-10. Tip will be controlled by the Stars as they will go right to left on your media center or your Show Me Sports Network app. As with it is Ross. She'll work on the right side. Early in the ball game here, she'll kick it. And as a four, she'll have it in the right wing. Now looking... Four more. Moore has it driving in the paint. She'll stop, pick up her dribble, turn around, jumper, crawls across the rim. Moore has her first two points and gives the Stars a two to nothing lead. Out of college with it has some problem getting across the timeline, but they do. Then to Testioka. Shot up by Pruitt, no good. Rebound comes down into the hands. Of the Stars as they go the other way. Moore had it for a moment. Now Ross with it. Out in front of me. Back to Moore. Three-pointer up. No good off the back iron. Rebound will be knocked around. Controlled by Izafor. So they'll have another extended possession. Three-pointer up and good. That one by Scott Windham. She's got her first bucket. And that makes it a 5 to nothing Stars lead. We have a timeout call. Just a 30 seconds. We'll pause 30. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball on the Show Me Sports Network. As a former veteran, for two years I tried to get my disability and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Swinnigan, and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you've earned. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. All 
Alexis Scott Wyndham hits a three and gives the Stars a five to nothing lead as we played a minute and four seconds. Pressure is going to be put on the inbound here as the Comets are trailing the Stars five to nothing. There's a ball taken away, stolen by Ezafor. She'll get it to Moore quickly, top of the key. Now with it is Ross, her right hander up and good. Marvin Ross has her first bucket of the game. It's seven nothing stars now again. They're putting the pressure on and a ball taken away. We're going back the other way. As with it, looking for some help was more. She'll get it off to Ross and she traveled with it. So it will go back the other way. Ross just has 10 turnovers. That's number 11 on the season so far. So relatively turnover free. Mussen will inbound it to Pruitt. She'll lead point here as she's working to the far side. Has to throw it in. Ahead and driving in. No shot there by Montes Descoga. They'll have it. Again, just threw it away there as Moore comes out of it. A two-on-one the other way. She's going to drive in the paint, dish it off, but ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Was looking to get it to Scott Wyndham, but knocked out of bounds by one of the Comet players. So will. Stay with the Stars underneath their own bucket. Allison Moore, the 5'8 junior guard, she will pull the trigger on the inbound. She'll locate under the far side of the bucket. As Cotty will have a substitution, they will check in. Jada Valley, the 5'6". Freshman forward, she's from Girard, Kansas, went to Girard High School, so she will check in to the game. Inbound will go out front to Ross. She'll give a big step. Now she'll back up, fire up a long two, no good. And off the back iron and the backboard, it'll go the other way as Pruitt has it in the front court. She'll take it around the horn. 7.46 left to go. It's 7-0. Stars almost a steal there. And got her with the body was Allison Moore, so she picks up her first foul. That's just the first team foul. First foul of the game. We have 7.44 left here in this opening quarter. In this matchup between the 2-1 and one Steven Stars and the 4-6 and six County Comets. Inbound. I'll get it back is Koontz. Across the court, she'll go with it to Pruitt. And working left to right on your media center or your Show Me Sports Network app. Top of the key with it. Driving in. Shot up from the left wing. Bricked it off the iron. That was Rodriguez. Rebounds comes down to Moore. She'll take it the other way quickly in front court to Ross on the far side. She drives in. Lays it off the glass. She's got four points in the game. And just like that, the Stars are ahead 9-0. Again, full court pressure put on. Trying to get it in the front court, they do. A little bump of pressure, nothing there, and we have a whistle. And they're going to call foul. A foul called, I believe, on Ezefora. Sorry, Ezefor. Her first team first, so Connie will inbound it underneath their own bucket. Here at Silverthorne Arena. Kicking in the right wing with it is Valley. She'll drive in, missed everything. Rebound comes down into the hands of Scott Wyndham. She'll drive in, kick it to Ross in the right wing. She'll have it at the free throw line. Now they'll play a little catch. Bell has checked in. She'll get it back. Long three. In and out, no good. Rebound will come down into the hands of Cotty. That's Jashree Bell. And we're going to have a travel as trying to drive to the bucket was Pruitt, and she travels with it. Checking in now will be Sierra Leeper, the 5'5 forward, who's a senior. She's from Omaha, Nebraska. She checks in. This is the second game she's played in this season. But the Stars have the basketball and the nine-point lead. As with it is Moore. She'll do a nice spin move. Underhanded shot, no good. Rebound goes back up and good on the bunny by Leaper. Sierra has her first points of the game and I believe first points of the season. 
High score pass over here. Three-pointer on the way for, uh, by Munson. It's off iron. No good. Rebound comes down in the hands of a couple of players, and we'll have a jump ball called. Possession error points in favor of Cotty, so we'll stay on their end of the court. The officials are going to have a conversation, though. So Connie will inbound it underneath their own bucket. Shot up by Koontz, no good. Left it short and was under the backboard. Coming out of there with it is Leeper. She'll kick it to Moore here on the near side. We near halfway through this opening quarter of play. With it is Bell. She'll kick it on the far side to Scott Windham. Now back to Leeper. Back to Scott Windham. Right wing with it is Bell. She thought about driving the baseline, did not. And we have a whistle, and it's going to be a foul. A foul called on Olivia Pruitt, her first, team first. So it will be an inbound for the Stars. They'll reset or set the shot clock to 20 seconds. Three-pointer up and good. That one by Marvine Ross. She has got... Seven of the 14 points here for the Stars. They lead 14 to nothing. 5-12 left to go here in the opening quarter. With it is Munson. She'll give it off to Pruitt. Drives and shot finally falls. And that's the first bucket of the ball game as we are just under five minutes to go. So it took five minutes and one second for County to score their first points. They trail 14-2 over the Stars. Scott Windham will have it. She'll drive in the paint from the right side. One-hander up, no good. Rebound's going to be uh, tipped out. It's going to go in favor of Cotty as they've got a two-on-two opportunity. Koontz wisely waits for some help. Shot up, no good. Missed everything as Valley going the other way with it is Ross. She's got seven points in the ball game. Missed that three-pointer, and we have whistles. And that'll be a foul as over the back was Alexis Scott Windham. Will be her first, team third. Just one foul for Cotty as they will have the basketball. They will get it across court. Four, 14 left to go in this opening quarter. With it is Valley on the right wing, almost threw it away, but somehow coming out of there with it is Pruitt. Her shot, no good, trying to save it on the baseline was Koontz. And we have a whistle and a foul call. And that one called on Leeper, her first foul, fourth team foul. Inbound for County. They're looking in the paint. Went up. No shot. Should have been a travel, but no call on Pruitt. Her shot was missed. And we have a jump ball called, which will go back in favor of the Stars. Pruitt went up with it and did not get the shot off. And then she went up and missed it. Four minutes to go here in this opening quarter. 14 to 2 Stars lead. Ross will have it across the big Stars logo at midcourt. Leeper will have it. Nice one-handed pass from Bell. Now left wing with it for a moment. Was Moore. Top of the key is Ross. Back to Moore in the left wing. We're going to have a three-second violation. So we'll go back to Cotty. Bell will check out. Checking in is India Lucas, the 5'5 guard. She's a sophomore from Illinois. Went to Glenbard South High School. 14 to 12 score, Stars leading the Comets. Pruitt will have it, right wing with it. Kicks it off to Munson, now cross court pass. And just lost the ball and taken away as the Stars go with it the other way. Ross has a two on one, waits for help. No look, pass shot up and good. That by Leaper, she's got four points in the ball game. It's now a 16 to two score. And we're gonna have another timeout, a 30 second timeout called for the comments. So we'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage 
of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 6 634-4909 or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com to get the best smile in town you mustache to southwest dental care yeah the comets don't like what their offense is doing nor their defense they call a timeout try to reset just a little bit they trail 16 to 2 here on the stars pressure put up by the defense ball poked out momentarily and that shot blocked but goes back to Cotty as Ezafor blocks it. And we have another whistle. Two fifty two left. We'll get to that foul. Or no foul, actually. As ball is going to be knocked out, Ross will come out with it on the other side. She has to control the dribble, could not go to the bucket. Leaper has it. Now more with it in the right wing. She'll fire up a jumper. That one off the iron. No good. Rebound poked around. Comes out of there as Leaper, so they'll keep it. 18 on the shot clock. Ross, three-pointer up. No good. Rebound comes down in the hands of the Comets. They trail 16-2. Going the other way. Well, kick it around. 2-12 left to go in this opening quarter. Shot was blocked as trying to go up was Pritt for a three-pointer. Goes the other way. With it is more. She lays it off the glass. No good. And we're going to have players from both teams hit the deck as Leaper was coming in trying to get the rebound. And she is going to pick up her second foul. Fifth team foul. So she will check out. Checking back in is Bell. Five team fouls, as I said. Cotty will have it. In the right wing, cross-court pass. Pruitt had to go back and get it. Now Musson shoots up a three-pointer off the iron. No good. And the Cotty players hits the deck. That is Valley. Another three-pointer on the way. That one missed everything by Pruitt. Going the other way with it are the Stars. Ross has it. She thought about a three from the far side, did not take it. Now she'll back out towards center circle as her team leads 16 to 2 with under a minute and a half to go here in this opening quarter. Lucas will have it at top of the key. She'll feed it off to Ross. Ross will have it. Long two pointer up from straight away. In and out, no good. Rebound comes down to Cotty. They'll take it the other way. That rebound into the hands of Alley. Montes Dioka had it for a moment. Now far side with it is Pruitt. Pruitt double teamed over there. She got it off. And cross court pass over to Munson. Nice job by Kuntz. Head and shoulder fake. She's got her first bucket. That makes it a 16-4 lead here in this first quarter. We're under 50 to go. And we're going to have a full timeout called. And it's full timeout called by the Stars. So we'll pause and be back as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic major league appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie. Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. 
You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. Bye-bye, head coach Andre Bell as they have the basketball and the lead to the Stars. Lucas will have it. Three-pointer up by Scott Windham on the far side. No good. Offensive putback is there and good. That up and good by Ezafor. She's got her first bucket. It's now back to a 14-point lead at 18-4. In pressure put on. Cotty having a hard time breaking it. Almost a backcourt. Somehow got the pass off. As they'll have it in the left wing. And we have a foul called. That one will be foul number six. That one goes to Ezefor. So she gets her first foul. We'll have a substitution here momentarily. And they're going to check her in now. So Ezefor will check out Emily Totlin, the 6'1 freshman forward from Benville, Arkansas, will check in. So first three throw up and no good. At the free throw line is Pruitt. She is a 62% free throw shooter. She makes the back half of those. So she makes one of two. Now an 18-5 score. A couple of substitutions now for the Stars. Now close to their original starters. As Ross will have it in the front court. And we're going to have... A, an offensive foul called. That one call, called on Ross. But she got too aggressive with the arm. That is foul. First foul for her. So 6.3 seconds left for Cotty to work with. They'll have it, firing up a shot. That one falls in as they get it right before the buzzer. That was Monta Dioka with it. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter as the Stars lead 18-7 to over the Cotty College Comets. We'll pause here and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we are state tech we are hands-on education when you choose the number one two-year college in the country you know you will be ready for your career that's why at state tech we say From the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Well, we're just about set to start the second quarter of play as the Stars lead 18-7 over the Comets of Cotty College from Nevada, Missouri. Blake Gazwa here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. Again, this defense very tenacious. With it is Valley now. She was in the right wing, drives into the paint. Her left-hander up and good. She's got her first points of the game. That makes it an 18-9 score in favor of the Stars. Ross will have it top of the key. Now she'll work far side. Wraparound pass to Ezefor. She's double teamed there. She'll finally get it off. Had it blocked for a moment. They'll kick it around the horn. Long two-pointer up by Scott Windham. No good. Ezefor shot up. That one no good. Gets a rebound. She'll go back up. That one up and good. Second time is the charm. She's got four points in the game. 
And it's a 20-9 score in favor of the Stars. They'll kick it on the far side with it. Tried to underhand it was Pruitt. I did have a foul called. So she'll be at the line shooting two shots. See who that foul was called on. That one called on as a four. First shot up. I mean, that was no good by Pruitt. She is one of three from the free throw line today. That second one up, that one's good. It's made the back half of both times she's been at the charity stripe. Still a 10-point lead for the Stars at 20 to 10. <coughs> Moore will have it. Her turnaround shot. That one no good. It's missed it to the right from the paint. It goes into the hands of the Comets. Give and go back to Pruitt. Her shot rejected by Ross. Going the other way with it around traffic. He is Stalzer. Ross three-pointer far side. That one no good. Rebound comes down to Cotty. Oh, direct some traffic, Pruitt. Backs out towards center circle again, working left to right on your media center. Your Show Me Sports Network app, however you're choosing to listen to us. Coons will have it. Long two-pointer, missed it short. Ball hits the court. Offensive putback by Pruitt is no good. She'll fight for the rebound, and she will get called for the foul. He was trying to get in there and get that rebound, and she picks up her second foul. That makes it even at one foul apiece here in the second quarter. Eight minutes to go. As with it is Stalzer. Now Moore will have it. She'll kick it far side to Scott Windham. She'll work around traffic. High key with it. Now back to Stalzer. She's playing a little catch out there. Shot clock down to eight. With it is Leeper. She'll kick it to Scott Windham. Long three-pointer up. No good. Rebound is going to be knocked out of there, but taken the other way by Koontz. Knocked out of there was Leeper. Koontz will have it. Now she'll give it off to Pruitt. 7.25 to go here before halftime. Bell will get ready to check in for the Stars here in just a little bit. Valley will have it on the far side. She fires up a three-pointer off the iron. No good. Rebound comes down to Ross. She'll throw it quickly ahead. Nobody paying attention for Connie. They do end up with it as one of the players in the back. So they'll go the other way. Ten-point lead for the Stars at 20-10. to 10. Far side with it is Pruitt. She'll put her dribble around far side. Got amongst the trees. Decided she did not want to go that way. Dish it off to Valley. And with it for a moment was Munson. Five on the clock. Shot up off the glass. That one no good by Pruitt. Leeper gets the rebound. Ross will take it the other way for the Stars. So again, no points coming off. A turnover for Cotty. Ross will have it. She had it poked out. She's going to have to fight for it. Goes into backcourt, but was tipped. So she will reset the offensive possession here. With it is Moore. She drives in, had it poked out as she was going into the bucket. One-on-one -on -one opportunity the other way as driving in, lays it up underhanded. That shot good. I'm on to this hook up. She's got four points in the game. We near six minutes to go here before halftime. Ross will have it. She'll dribble top of the key. Long three-pointer from Moore. That one was no good. Might have been partially blocked. Comes down to the hands. Four County going the other way. With it is Musson. Three-pointer up. That one good. That one by Montes de Yoka. Well, she's got seven points. That lead at one point was 14 points, then was 10 points. It's now five, and we have a timeout called. As we have, see if it's a 30 or a full. It is a 30 second, so we'll pause 30. You're listening to Stephen Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. We are State Tech. 
We are hands-on education. When you choose the number one two-year college in the country, you know you will be ready for your career. That's why at State Tech, we say, from the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Thirty-second timeout called by the Stars. Five thirty-three left to go here in the first half of our game. The Stars lead twenty to fifteen. They're hosting the County College Comets of Nevada. The Stars do have the basketball in the five-point lead with it. He is Lucas. Now they'll kick it off. Leeper has it here on the near side. She's trying to back her way in. She's going to get double teamed. Gets it off to Stalzer. She'll give it in the right wing to Bell. And she has it off her foot. Turnover goes back to Cotty. 5.15 left to go. Here in this second quarter. As the Stars lead 20-15. They are looking for win number three on the season. Connie's looking for win number five. Pruitt will have it cross court on the far side. Musson, she'll kick it over here on the right wing, trying to drive in. Connie got away with the travel. Back to Munson. her three-pointer up, no good off the side. Iron rebound will come down into the hands of the Stars. Stalzer had it, just overshot the mark, was looking for Bell and threw it too high, but had some traffic, had to work around it. Stalter will check out. Ross will check back in. Ross gets a breather for just a minute. Five-point game, 20-15 to 15 in favor of Cotty. Pruitt will have it. Kuntz at it for a moment. Now she'll get it back. Top of the key down low looking is Pruitt. She drives around traffic. Is driving in. Shot up. No good. Goes in favor. By the Stars as Bell comes down with it. She'll kick it off to Ross, direct some traffic. As a four, we'll get ready to check in here in just a little bit. Bell has it on the far side. She'll give it to Lucas, free throw line. Kick it far side to Ross. She'll drive in, free throw line. Right hander up. Good. She's got nine points, kisses it off the glass. First points we've had in just a little while as it's 22-15 in favor of the Stars. Koontz will have it. Now right wing with it is Musson. She'll give it to Pruitt. I'll just play a little catch over there. Musson will get it right wing, trying to drive in, wrap around pass. Shot up was no good. However, I believe they're going to say that Ross picks up her second foul, got her with the body. Just the second foul here in the second quarter. As a four checks in. Also checking in as stalls are checking out as Leeper and Bell. So Valley will be at the free throw line. Her first shot rattles in and out. No good. So she does have the second one. The 5'6 freshman forward from Gerard, Kansas. Played at Gerard High School. That one up. That one good. Connie hitting 50% of their free throws right now. They made the back half. Of the three times they've been at the charity strike. Ross will have it. She'll go coast to coast, lay it off the glass. Good. She found a seam, took it through the paint, and puts it off the glass. Now it's a 24-16 lead for the Stars. Koontz has it for a moment. Cross-court pass in the paint. With it is Pruitt. Musson three-pointer up, no good. Rebound knocked around, knocked around. It's going to go out of bounds and off of Pruitt. She was trying to save it, second, third effort, but does stay. Sorry, rather goes back to the Stars. Cotty will make a substitution. Valley checks out. McKenzie Wollers checks in. 3.09 left to go here in this first half. Stars leading 24-16. Ross will 
Bring it here on the near side now. She'll work traffic to the far side. She'll kick it in the right wing. A stalls her. Now back to Ross. Deep in the right wing. Now she'll take it out front. They're looking down low. Ezafor has it. Shot up. No good. Got her on rebound. Goes back up. That one no good. Third time goes up. Gets the foul. Shot no good. Took her three tries, but draws the foul, and she will be at the line. Let's see who they call that foul on. So as a four has two shots here, first one up. That one nothing but net. She has made eight of 11, came in with a 70%. That one also banked is she is two for two, has six points in the ball game, back to a 10 point lead. And 26 to 16. Coons will have it top of the key. Right wing three pointer missed everything, was Musson. Lucas had it for a moment, now she'll give it off to Ross. Ross will work around traffic, has it knocked out of bounds. They did end up calling that foul on Ollers. So her first foul, second team foul. Both teams with two fouls here in this second quarter. So Ross will pull the trigger on the inbound. She looks down low, needs to get it in. Top of the key with it, she'll get it to Scott Windham. She's checked back in the ball game, right wing with it. Stalls her up, three-pointer, good, rattled it in. Stolzer has her first bucket of the ball game. And it's now a 29-16 score. Two minutes to go here in the first half. Pruitt will have it. She'll kick it here on the near side. Cross-court pass over to Musson. Now back top of the key is Pruitt. She drives in, mishandles it. Had it stripped out of her hands. Will stay with the Comets. Minute 47 left here in this first half. Cotty will inbound it. Coons will get it out front. Far side with it is Monta Dioka. Three-pointer by Munson. That one up. No good off the iron again. And we have a whistle. And a foul called on Coons for over the back. Her first foul. The third team foul. Minute 37 and counting here in the first half. Stars lead 29-16. This past 2.30 here on the Show Me Sports Network. Lucas, three-pointer up, no good. Rebound comes down in the hands of Stalzer. She's among trees, couldn't go up with it. Wraparound pass, she got it back, shot up, off the glass, good. <laughs> Lucas gets her first points of the ball game, and it's back to a 15-point lead at 31-16. Coons will have it here on the near side. Coach Bell directing some traffic. Looks like they're in a box in one or one, two, two are the stars. Coons will have it. Pruitt shot up on the other side, high off the backboard, going away and taking it from Coons was as a four. Ross on the other side, shot up, no good, but she's going to get called for an offensive foul. The crowd does not like that call. She made a nice move to the bucket. Goes with authority. That's her third foul as she went up with it but got the contact. The feet were set by the defender. She checks out. Bell will check back in. 31-16 your score. Stars leading. 37 seconds to go here in this first half. Pruitt has it. Had some separation, now Coons has it. She'll fire up along two offline, no good. Rebound comes down to Lucas. She'll go the other way with it for the Stars. On the far side, she's got it. Right wing is Scott Windham. She'll fire up a jumper, left it short. Rebound will be knocked around, coming out of there with it. Is Valley for the Comets. She'll fire it to Munson. In the paint, Pruitt shot up, good. She got the kiss off the backboard. 
Stalzer has it quickly in front court. Two on the clock. One long three-pointer by Ezefor. Off no good, but that will take us to the end of the first half of action. It is 31-18 stars over the Comets. As teams will go to the locker room here, and they'll put some time up here for halftime as we will pause and be back and take a look at your halftime scoring summary. Talk about a few other things as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in the Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom. Using large format, high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. This state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Visit HanCustomLaserEngraving.myshopify.com or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving llc a veteran owned business 31 18 in favor of the stars over the comets of county college of course county calling nevada missouri home very familiar somewhat with their program as i'm a native of nevada so grew up there and came back after college for a little while so kind of know a little bit about the uh, community and about the program there they have of course they're coached by Mary Ann Mitz, she's had an illustrious college coaching career, so she brings a lot of accolades with her to Cotty. I believe this is her second year there, possibly third year. She hasn't been there but a couple years, I can tell you that much at least. So she is on her tenure there. As uh, Taking a look at the scoring summary as we send 31-18 score in favor of the Stars. Adding up my numbers here. Leading all scorers for the Stars is sophomore Marvine Ross. She's got 11 points, 6 points by Ezefor, the 5'10 sophomore forward. She has got 6. 4 points for Sierra Leaper, both those coming in the first quarter. 3 points for Addie Stalzer as well as Alexis Scott Windham. And two points for India Lucas as well to round out their scoring as they lead 31 to 18. Leading the Comets, seven points with their leading scorer, Sarah Montes Dioka. Six points for Olivia Pruitt, the 5'6 sophomore. Three points by Jada Valley. And two points for Taylor Kuntz. 
5'7", sophomore to round out their scoring. Taking a look at the foul situation, well, maybe a hair situation on the side for the Stars as Ross has three fouls, Scott Wyndham has one, Moore has two, Ezafor has two, and Leeper has two, all coming in the first half, of course. For the Comets, Koontz has one, Pruitt has two, and Wollers has one. So nobody really in foul trouble there, at least by my opinion, nobody in foul trouble there. So this looks like Ross would be the only one a little bit concerned with as she's got those three fouls here in the first half for the Stars. We're going to take a break and then be back. As our halftime continues here on the Show Me Sports Network, you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform with a guarantee of 100% American-made products. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh -huh. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We love, oh, we it. love it. But we're thinking about Tokyo. Uh -huh. I know a guy. You know an agent, too. That's Kathy Rush at Remax Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. As a former veteran, for two years, I tried to get my disability, and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Swinigan, and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time, where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in Mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you've earned. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 Six three four four nine zero nine, or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com. To get the best smile in town, you mustache to Southwest Dental Care. Locker room here as the Stars lead 31-18. to 18. As They pretty much controlled much of the game. They led at the end of one, 18-7. And lead here 31-18 here at halftime. They have outscored the Comets. In the first quarter, 18 to seven. In the second quarter, they outscored them 13 to 11. So they have controlled both quarters on the scoreboard. All game has seen no lead changes and had no ties. Check, see if I can get an update here on the Mizzou game. Give me a second while I pull that up. Go back and try to find that score. Also, wrestling in action today. Zoo wrestling. <clears throat> All right, as soon as it gets loaded, I can give you a score from the Mizzou game. As we said, they are hosting Florida. Check in here in just a little bit. As uh, for the Stars, they will be back in action on the 23rd as they will travel and play on the road at Webster University. That a 5:30 tip-off. 
That is set for the 23rd. When the Stars come out, they'll shoot around here. Connie also just exiting their locker room with just over five left here at halftime. As I was saying, though, Webster University is the next opponent for the Stars. They will travel there and play on the 23rd. That's set for a 5.30 tip-off. Then they'll have a break until Chris, until uh, after Thanksgiving, I should say, as December 2nd. They will travel to Williamswood University. That is the start of their conference play here in the American Midwest Conference. That matchup will be a 5.30 tip on the 2nd, then on the 4th of December. They will also be on the road in St. Louis, be taking on the University of Health Science and Pharmacy in St. Louis. That's set for a 1 o'clock tip-off. And then we may try to get up to... Uh, William Woods game and broadcast that. Not making any promises, but we'll see how that goes. But I know the next broadcast for sure will be the next home game on the 12th. That'll be when the University of Science and Arts from Oklahoma comes to town. That's a non-conference game. That's set for a 1 o'clock tip-off. Is that here at Deb Duran Court in Silver Thorn Arena here in Columbia? And both teams out of the locker room here getting warmed up. We're going to take another quick break and be back and get you set for the second half of action as you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball on the Show Me Sports Network. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Haven't seen an Avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup, fragrances, or skincare products? No need to worry. Avon representative Michelle Carty has got you covered. Michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves. You now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching. Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we are state tech we are hands-on education when you choose the number one two-year college in the country you know you will be ready for your career that's why at state tech we say from the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Both teams finishing up their halftime warm up here is. The Stars lead 31 to 18 over the County College Comets. But guys, we're here with you on the Show Me Sports Network. As today's game, the home opener for the Stars, they come in with a record of two and one, riding a two-game win streak. But as I said, this is their home opener here in Columbia at Silverthorne Arena. And wins over Randall University as well as Graceland University in Iowa. The only loss coming to Crowley's Ridge College and a 78-71 loss. That was their first game of the season. That was in tournament play 
in Manhattan. So that their first loss and only loss so far as they look to cruise to three and one on the season for the Comets. They also are riding a two-game win streak, but they sit at four and six on their season so far. And they are looking to join the American Midwest Conference, which is home for the Stars, next year in the 22-23 season. Pass is going to be knocked out by Moore as inbound. As Cotty inbounds it to start the second half, poked out, so we'll stay with Cotty. They trail 31-18. Pruitt will inbound it. She has Koontz wide open in the paint. Shot up good. She's got her first bucket. She's got, sorry, first bucket of the second half. She's got four points in the game. As kick it on the far side. With it, again, we change into the court, so it'll be left to right now for the remainder of the game for the Stars. As they have a jump ball called, trying to go up with it is Ezefor. Possession arrow does point in favor of the Stars. Ezefor will inbound underneath her own bucket. Her team leads by 11 at 31 to 20. Inbound to Ross, deep in the left wing, looking down low for Ezefor. She'll kick it top of the key. To Moore as they'll reset the offense here a little bit. She'll try to drive her way in, pick up her dribble on the right key. Now left wing with it. Moore, three-pointer up, no good. As shot clock sounds, coming out the other way with it is Pruitt. They'll direct around some traffic. Into the uh, paint with it is Pruitt. They have to reset here. Coons will have it. She'll leave it. Pruitt now has it. Playing a little catch over there. Coots again with it. Got to look to the bucket. Is driving in. Shot missed everything was Montes Dioka. Ball is going to be off the hands of the Stars, and we'll go back to Cotty. So the Comets coming out here. The flurry of defense. As they will have the basketball here. 8.54 left in this third quarter. They trail 31 to 20 to the Stars. Pruitt will have it here on the near side. She'll take it out front. Now, looking down low on the give and go shot up is good. It rattled in. Musson has her first points of the ball game. That's now a 31 22 score for the Stars. They have the basketball. Ross will have it. Looking down low. And shot up no good as Scott Windham had to go back to get the pass. Her foot was on the baseline. So it goes as a turnover. As Ross will check out, checking in is Bell. Well, the Comets have a chance to cut that lead down. They've been down as much as 16. They have been as close as five. Three-pointer up, that off the back iron, no good. Rebound still on the court. And the Stars will come out with it. As taken down on the other end, no call as Stolzer was ran into, falls down. As Comets have it. And we have a foul called as Bell will get called for the foul on the other side. That's her first foul. First team foul. So it will be an inbound for County. They'll stand under their own bucket. They get it into Kuntz. She gives it right back. Shot up by Musson is no good. Kuntz gets the rebound here on the near side. She goes up. That one rejected into the hands. Of Bell. She'll get it the other way, but a turnover goes back to Cotty. Both teams exchanging turnovers here. Cross court pass over to Pruitt. Long two pointer from the right wing. Rattles in and out, no good. And rebound will be taken by the Stars the other way. Moore will let a little traffic clear. She'll walk across the timeline now, working it here on the near side. 7.28 to go here in this third quarter. And she drives in, but she'll be fouled. See who they call that on. 
she will be at the line. Yanis Rodriguez picks up her first foul. First team foul here in the second half. Free throw up and good by Moore. She's hitting 18 of 21 free throws so far. It's greater than an 85%. Makes that one. Not a math whiz, but she has got 19 of 22, so she entered 85%. I think that puts her close to 90. Lengthens that lead out again for the Stars. Coons will have a right wing. Looking down in the paint, ball tipped out, but got it was Munson, her three-pointer up. She missed everything. Offensive put back up and good. That by Coons. She's got six points in the game. Four here in this third quarter. Andre Bell has lost his sports jacket here in the second half. Scott Wyndham will have it out front. Near center circle now. She'll kick it to Stalzer. Look down low to Ezefor. She'll get it back. Ball poked out, but it'll be a reach-in foul. Rodriguez picks up her second foul. Back-to-back fouls on her now. Pruitt also has two fouls for Cotty. So inbound for the Stars. They lead 33-24. Looking down low with it is Moore and a whistle. And they're resetting. They need to reset the shot clock. So it'll be another inbound for the Stars. So 33-24 your score. They reset it to 17 seconds on the shot clock. Moore will pull the trigger. She gets it into Stalzer. Back to Moore trying to back her way in. Wrap around bucket up and good. She's got six points. And it's now 35-24. Lead starting to lengthen out again for the Stars. Under six and a half to go in this third quarter. Coons will have it on the far side in the Rich Hill, Missouri native. Rodriguez top of the key with it. Now back to Coons. I actually can say I've called some of her high school basketball games. Shot up and good by Pruitt. Oh, it's now back to a nine-point lead for The Stars at 35-26. Moore will have it. She'll drive in the paint, kick it off to Bell. Thought about the three, didn't take it. Looking down low to Ezefor. Now she'll be guarded closely by Rodriguez. She'll back it up. Under 10 to go on the shot clock. Scott Wyndham drives in, and she's going to be hip-checked as she hits the deck hard. I think she'll be okay. Foul is going to be called on Pruitt. That's her third foul. Third team foul. Scott Wyndham made a nice move to the bucket and got tripped up. As a four-wheel check out, checking back in his leaper. So Pruitt has three fouls now. Ball will stay with the Stars. Inbound to Bell on the far side. She'll kick it near side to Scott Wyndham in the right wing. Now she'll look down low to leaper. Now back, three-pointer up. That one good. Stolzer has six points with two trays. Back to a 12-point lead at 38-26. Coons will have it in the left wing. Two-pointer up. No good. Rebound comes down to Rodriguez. She'll kick it around the horn. Driving into the paint. Maya got away with a travel. And shot up and good by Montes Dioka. She has got the NBA walk for sure. Uh, Makes it a 10-point Lead for the Stars at 38-28, halfway through this quarter. Another three-pointer up and good. That one by Moore. She's got seven points in the quarter, and it's 41-28 in favor of the Stars. With it is Pruitt. She'll have a top of the key, Koontz. That's not Koontz, actually. That's Munson. Now Pruitt have it. In the left wing, she drives in her running one-hander. No good. Off of everything. Ball's going to be tipped around. We'll go off of Cotty. <coughs> off of Cotty. So we'll go back to the Stars. Checking into the ball game. Valley checks in for Rodriguez. She exits with those two fouls. 41-28 score in favor of the Stars. 
We got 420 left to go here in this third quarter. Moore will have it. Drive around traffic. Now she's in the paint. Left hander up. No good. But she'll go to the line to shoot two. That foul called on Kuntz. Taylor picks up her second foul. Fourth team foul. Moore will be at the line. <clears throat> First free throw up, that one rattles out. She has made two of three for the day. She does have a second one coming. Looking for point number 10 here in the ball game. She enters with 23 points a game. She's averaging that one rattled in. She makes that one. It's a 42-28 score. Valley will have it. On the left ring, cross-court pass to Munson. Coons has it. Looking down low, but can't find anything there. Valley again with a left three-pointer. No good. Rebound comes down to Scott Windham. She'll take it the other way. Passes it in a front court to Bell. She's wide open and shot blocked from behind by Coons. Had a wide open bucket, but shot was rejected. Coons will have it here on the near side. She'll drive into traffic. No look pass to Valley. Her shot up left and short. Rebound comes down to Leeper. She'll wait till Scott Windham gets back in bounds as she'd stepped out momentarily. Moore will have it again. Coming into the ball game, averaging 23 points a game. She has started all three games, now all four games this season. She'll kick it left wing to Scott Windham. 316 left and counting in this third quarter. Leeper will have it in the paint. She'll kick it to Bell. Out front. Back to Leeper. Moore three pointer near side up. No good. Ball will be bounced around. Saved by Scott Windham into the hands of Bell. They are going to reset the shot clock again. They said 15, which will be the call. So Bell will check out. Checking in is India Lucas, 5'5", five five, sophomore guard. So inbound will go into... Scott Windham, she had it knocked out of her hands off her foot. Valley will get it the other way, but diving in is Leeper, and they're going to have a jump ball called as she dives in and ties up Musson. And possession error points in favor of Cotty, but nice job, nice hustle on her part to get in there, try to get that loose ball. So Cotty will inbound. He has almost lost it there. Tight roping the baseline twice now. Left wing with it is Valley. Now Kuntz will have it, top of the key. Now she's working far side. She's hounded there by Leeper. Ten on the shot clock, top of the key with it is Pruitt. She drives in left-hander, left it short. Rebound up and good by Kuntz. She might have got away with a foul there as she came flying into the play. Somebody got an elbow to the side of the head for the Stars. 218 here in this third quarter left. It's 12 point lead. Three pointer up. No good. That by Moore. Stalzer tried to poke out the rebound but could not get it. Goes back to Cotty. As they go the other way again. Stars lead 42 30. Shot up. Three pointer. No good. Well offline, but they're going to get a foul call. Here the fans don't like that as Alexis Scott Windham picks up her. Second foul, sorry, yeah, her second foul. It was a late whistle by the official. So Pruitt will be at the line shooting three. <clears throat> First three throw up, good. Pruitt was shooting 62% from the free throw line. Now she is three of five from the line so far. Second one up. That one also good. So she will have the third one coming. And she was in the process of shooting a three when she was fouled. That one up off the back iron. No good. Rebound is going to be taken away by Scott Windham. Stars will have it going the other way. Moore will get it. Now she'll kick it off to Stalzer. Three-pointer up. Good. Stalzer has three trays. 
has nine points in the game. And it's a 45-32 lead for the Stars. Pruitt driving in, left-hander missed everything. Stalzer gets the rebound going the other way quickly in her front court. She gets it to Lucas. She will put the brakes on and wait for help. She'll get it back right wing. Her three-pointer up. That one offline. Rebound comes down to the hands of Pruitt for Cotty. Minute 20 left to go here in this third quarter. 45-32 the score in favor of the Stars. Pruitt will get it on the far side for the Comets. She'll head and shoulder fake. Now she'll get it off. Here the fans wanted a five-second call but did not get it. Driving in, right-hander by Pruitt. Up and good. She's got 12 points in the game. Under a minute to go here in this third quarter. Moore will have it here on the near side. She'll get some help as there will be a reach-in foul called. That will be foul number five here in this second quarter. Lucas checks out. Bell checks in. who that foul was on. I didn't catch who it was, so. A foul on Coots. Her third. So Moore will be at the free throw line. First free throw up. Good. She has made four of five in this third quarter. Only time she's been at the free throw line here in this third quarter. Connie trying to get a substitution in, but was not allowed. That one in and out, no good. So she missed the back half of those free throws. McCotty unable to get their substitution. It was not at the bench in time. Usson has it. Just threw it away. Was tipped out of there and taken the other way by Bell. He will direct around some traffic. Under 30 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Bell will leave it for Stalzer. She'll drive in. Right hander up. No good. Too strong. Gets her own rebound. Falls down with it. And we're going to have a jump ball called. Nice job of her to fight for that rebound. Possession arrow does point in favor of Stevens. They lead 46 34. 19.1 seconds left. Here, as Lucas will check out. Sorry, as Scott Wyndham checks out, checking in. Is Lucas. They'll get the inbound pass. 15 seconds to work with. Lucas thought about the three, didn't take it. Moore will have it. Three-pointer up, left it short. Rebound comes down. As going back up with it, that one no good. That one by Stolzer, and it's going to be kicked around and out of bounds. And they say off of the stars will go to Cotty, I believe. From here, it looked like it was off Coots' foot. So pressure will be put on here on this inbound. 5.3 seconds for Cotty to work with. They trail 46-34. Inbound goes into Pruitt. She's quickly in the front court with it. She'll drive in the paint, and she traveled. Made the shot, but traveled, so it'll be a turnover. One second exactly remaining here in this third quarter for the Stars to work with. They'll get it in. And shot will be up from half court, but offline. His shot was up by Moore, but that takes us to the end of three quarters. The Stars, 46. And for the Comets, 34. We'll pause to be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, both teams getting final instructions from both head coaches. 
As the Stars lead 46-34 here. As they play their home opener at Deb Duran Court in Silverthorne Arena here in Columbia, Missouri. <clears throat> play Gasly here on the call with you. That quarter, the Stars being outscored 16-15 by the Comets. Otherwise, they outscored them both quarters in the first half, 18-7 and 13-11. So 10 minutes left here in our ball game in regulation. As Koontz will inbound it into Pruitt. <clears throat> this fourth quarter underway now. Stars lead 46-34. With it is Musson. So give it right wing shot up three-pointer. That one off the iron, no good. Rebound poked around but comes out into the hands of Stalzer. She'll give it to Scott Windham. She'll have it across the timeline back to Stalzer. Top of the key. Ross will have it. She sat much of that third quarter, and she's got those three fouls. Looking down low for Ezafor, and a foul called. That one called on Jada Valley, her first foul, first team foul here in this fourth quarter. So we'll be an inbound as Ross will pull the trigger. Gets it out at the free throw line. Two more. She'll drive in, wrap around pass. Scott Windham, three pointer up and good. Scott Windham, she's got two trays and six points in the ball game, and it's back to a 15 point lead at 49 34. Pruitt will walk it across the timeline. Pass knocked down, but Coots comes out with it. In the right wing, Comets have it. They just checked the pass over here, my direction, as way too tall. And we'll go back as a turnover for the Comets. We'll go back to the Stars. So inbound will go into Ross, a Cow Creek, South Dakota native. And we're going to have a reach in foul called. Clock stopped 8 51 here. In this fourth quarter of play. So Ross will have it driving into the paint. Now she's going to rocket a pass. Goes off the hands of Ezefor off of two Comets players. So we'll stay with the Stars. So Ross will pull the trigger here on the inbound. Standing to the right of her own bucket. She'll need some help. Gets it into Moore out in front court. She'll pass it off to Stalzer. Wasn't expecting it, but she does go out corral it. Out in center circle with it is Ross. Three on the shot clock. Turnaround jumper by Ezafor. No good. She was asking for the foul, but did not get it granted. Going the other way with it is Pruitt. Pruitt has it taken away. She'll kick it out, though, to Coons. Had it knocked out. A couple of players knocked it out. By both teams, Coons has a bucket, though. She has 10 in the ballgame. She was able to capitalize on that. So though that pass was knocked out, taken by both teams twice before Coons got it. Ross will fire up a three-pointer up and good. She's got 14 points. Sends it through the needle, and it's 52-36 the score. 7.50 to go here in regulation. Right wing with it. The Comets have it. Pass knocked down off the hands of Ross. She was trying to make a case to say it was going the other way, but the official says, no, nope. I saw it off of you. 7.44 left to go here in the ball game. 52-36 the score in favor of the Stars. Connie will inbound it to the right of their own bucket. Driving in, shot well offline. That shot by Montes Dioka. But she'll go the line. Let's see who they got that foul on. Stalzer will check out. Checking in is Bell. So that is on Stalzer. So Addie picks up her first foul. Just the first foul here in the fourth quarter. Shot up. That one good. That three-pointer by Munson. 
She's probably missed about 15, but finally connects on that one. She has taken several three-point tries. 52-39 the score. In the paint with it is Ezefor. Backing her way in, right-hander, turn around her, good. Ezefor has eight points. Makes it a 54-39 score. Musson has it, left wing. Free throw line, jumper up, no good. That by Pruitt, she left it short, but the rebound comes down to the Comets. As that'll be a turnover. As Montes Dioka falls down with it. We'll go back to the Stars as they lead 54-39, under seven to go here in this fourth quarter of regulation. Scott Wyndham has it for a moment. Now she'll kick it to Moore on the far side. She'll decide to drive in along the baseline, kick it off, right wing. Scott Wyndham had it for a moment. Now Ross fires up a right-hander. It's no good as a four gets the rebound. She'll go up with it, shot up, and good. Ezefor has 10 points. She's in double digits and back-to-back buckets. Nice job to get the offensive put back. Just threw it away as Coot should get the foul as she was diving in there to get that loose ball by Moore. And she is going to pick up. She is not a happy camper. She will pick up her fourth foul. She picks up her fourth foul, and she will check Thought she was checking out. She will stay in the ball game. That's the third foul here in the quarter for the Comets. Inbound goes into the hands of Moore. 6.20 left to go here in regulation. Ross will have it at the free throw line. Has to go back and get her dribble. Now she'll kick it off to Scott Wyndham. Top of the key. She's looking down low. Finally got it in the hands of Ezefort. Shot up. No good. Got her own rebound. She'll go up a second time and get the bunny. She will get a chance for a three-point play as she gets the basket and the harm. And she'll look for three now. Ezefor has back-to-back-to-back buckets. Let's see who that foul's called on. Rodriguez will check back into the game. Valley will check out. She is trying. She missed that one. Rebound comes to Scott Windham. She goes back up. It's no good. So can't get a chance for an extra bucket, but... A length in that lead, 58-39. Driving in, shot up off the iron, no good. That shot by Wollers. Offensive put back, no good. Third time, that one put up and good by Coons. They have a timeout called. See if they want a 30 or a full. It is a full timeout, so we'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. At the Boone County Journal, we're with you all the way. We know that you're more than just a subscriber. You're an employer. You're a parent. You're a neighbor. Most importantly, you're a community member. It's our goal to provide you with the latest news, sports, opinions, obituaries, classifieds, and more to keep you informed about your community. To find out more about the Boone County Journal or to subscribe, call 573-657-2334 or visit bocojo.com. The Boone County Journal. We're with you all the way. Liberal Christian Academy has been providing a strong biblical foundation and academic excellence within a Christian environment for more than 15 years. Located in Jefferson City, Riverwell Christian Academy offers kinder prep through sixth grade that prepares students to impact the world for Christ. Average class sizes are just 16 students, with the student body comprised of families from over 30 area churches. Kinder prep offerings include three and five full day sessions, with kindergarten offering half day and full day programs. To find out more about Riverwell Christian Academy, call them at 573-634-3983. Full timeout called by the Comets as they trail to the Steven Stars, 58-41. Clock stopped, 540 left here. In regulation, pass is going to be knocked out of bounds. We'll stay with the Stars, though. Coming down, pulling the trigger. 
will be Scott Wyndham. She will get it in. Not a bad, not a uh, good pass, rather, but got it in to Moore. She'll get it to Ross. She'll dribble around traffic in the front court with it as she's trailed. Does a nice job detecting the pressure. Three-pointer by Moore. Up. Good. Moore has 14 points, including two trays, and it's now a 20-point lead at 61-41. Comets have the basketball. They'll fire up their own three-pointer. That one up and good. That one by... Womlers. And a front court with it for the Stars will be Stalzer. She'll give it to Ross here on the near side. She'll direct a little traffic, see what she wants to do, pick up her dribble. Down low, Leaper throws it up. Couldn't get the connection, but we're going to have a whistle and a jump ball called as Leaper does a nice job to get in there and tie her up. Rodriguez got the rebound. A leaper ties her up. <clears throat> Stalzer will check out. Checking in is Bell. 61-44, the score in favor of the Stars. one three, one defense right now for the Stars. Three-pointer put up. That one left short. No good. Rebound comes down to Moore. She'll... Direct some traffic, got the pass off as Marvin Ross comes down with it eventually. Four and a half to go here in regulation. She's hounded out by center circle now. That's going to be a reach-in foul called on Pruitt. That's her fourth. This team foul number two. Bell will check out, checking back in is Stalzer. That's team foul number five, so Ross will be at the free throw line for the first time tonight. She's hitting a 875 this season. A 7.5% free throw shooter. She's 7 of 8. Her first free throw good. So she will have the second one coming. That's 15 points in the game. Looking for number 16. That one up, that one also good. So she makes both of those. She's got 16 points in the game, five in this quarter alone. Back to a 19-point lead. <clears throat> That's 63-44. 4.20, two left to go here in regulation. Pruitt will have it. Almost threw it away. It's through a lazy pass over to Valley. She'll drive in the paint, dishes it off. Shot up, three-pointer, no good. Missed everything that by Wallers. Looking up court, wide open. Is Ross makes a man miss. Shot up, good. Nice job of her to make the trailing defender go up in the air. Wait for her to clear. Put up the shot. Under four to go. Valley will have it. Now she'll kick it to Koontz. Back to Valley. Cross-court pass over to Pruitt in the right wing. She'll drive in. Her left-hander up. Got it off the glass. She's got 14 points. Still a 65-46 lead for the Stars. They've led wire to wire. Ross will have a top of the key. Kicking in on the far side to Moore. She'll survey the defense. Stalls here will have it. Now Ross will have it again. Out by center circle. Now it's here, here on the near side. He'll throw it off the back of Stalzer. Was looking for her to turn around to get the pass. She did not, but she gets it. Shot by Leeper, blocked from behind, but she got a rebound. However, shot clock did go off. Kuntz got a hand in there, changing the tra trajectory of that shot. Checking in will be Scott Windham. Checking out will be Stalzer. 3-11. Left here in the ball game. Mutson checks in, checking out is Rodriguez. Leeper checks out for the Stars, checking in is Bell. I think everybody's done substituting now. 3-10 left to go here in the ball game. Coots will have the left-hand dribble. She'll kick it left wing. Mutson three-pointer up off the iron, no good. Scott Wyndham comes down with it in traffic. She'll let some clear before she... Tries to advance it up court. 
She'll be across the timeline. She'll kick it to Ross, top of the key, down low pass, has a four turnaround, jump her up, no good, but she's going to go to the line. A foul called on Musson, her first. It'll be team foul number six. <clears throat> There's a four at the free throw line. Her team leads 65-46. That one no good. She's got the second one coming, though. She can give her team, if she can hit this, back the 20-point lead. Free throw up, and that one also no good. So she missed both of those, was two of two, then has went cold, now three, missed the last three. She is two of five. And Cotty just threw it away, had some pressure, trying to get it in front court, and throws it into the bench over to my left. So on the other side of the court, obviously. It goes out of bounds. We'll go back to the Stars as they lead 65-46. Nearing two and a half to go in regulation. No look pass to... As a four through her hands, too much mustard on it. Ross just put a little too much power. 65 46 stars lead. Barring a disaster here, they should go on to pick up their third win of the season. Put them on a three game win streak. Ross tips that pass, but Connie's able to corral. Kuntz long three pointer far side, that one no good. Pass tipped around. Bell comes out of there sprinting with it. One on one the other way. She's going to stop. Wait for help. She'll have it. Turn around. Shot no good. Was partially blocked. We'll go back the other way. As the Comets have it. Get it off to Musson. She'll give it to Kuntz. Works around traffic. Drives in right hander up. No good. She'll fight for her own rebound. Hits the deck. Cannot come down with it. Bell will wait for some traffic to clear. Ross has it now in front court. Here down in front of me here on the near side. Right wing with it is Bell. She'll stop, pick up her dribble, give it back to Ross, who had to go through her hands. And have a backcourt violation as pass goes through her hands, through her legs, and into backcourt. So we'll be a turnover. Go back to the Comets. And we're going to have a timeout called. I believe it's just a 30 second timeout. We'll pause and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Since 2018, Han Custom Laser Engraving LLC has been specializing in all things custom. Using large format, high-powered lasers with some of the most advanced technologies on the market, anything can become a canvas. This state-of-the-art system makes quick work of custom engraving on cups, glass, tile, wood, acrylic, metal, with endless possibilities. They also offer custom one-of-a-kind signs that are sure to make your design stand out. Visit HanCustomLaserEngraving.myshopify.com or call 573-489-8732 to find out more on custom laser engraving LLC a veteran owned business a second timeout called stars lead 65 46 here is they're looking for win number three that would put them at a three game win streak as well so Cotty does have the basketball they'll get it inbounded to Coons she'll direct a little traffic Ella have it on the near side. Top of the key with it is Musson. Now back to Mintas Dioka. They didn't have to go. Right wing with it is Valley. Shot up, no good. Rebound comes down to Ross. She'll let traffic clear. Now she'll go across the timeline. Left wing with it is Bell. Looking down low, but she'll work it around the horn. Down low as a four. Has it. Turn around jumper. Good. And she'll have the... Chance for a three-point play. Nice job of her to work through the traffic, get the shot, and be at the line. She's got 14 points looking for 15. Free throw good, so she does make the old-fashioned three-point play. She's got... 15 points, nine of which have come in this fourth quarter. So foul called on Stevens, just their third foul of the quarter. Let's see who that's on. It's on Bell, her second. As the Ford checks out, checking in. 
is Stalzer. Left wing Munson has it. Munson will drive in. Her left-hander no good. Rebound's going to be taken away by Kuntz. Put back up good. She's got 14 points. And we have a travel. Get some substitutions here. Emily Toland has checked back in the ball game. <clears throat> also checking back in is India Lucas. Well, he, he motioned for travel, but I think it was just to get some new players in the game. Lucas will have it out on the near side. Should be knocked down, but got the pass off. Was taken away, though, by the Comets. As with it is Kuntz. No look pass. Prutz. Three-pointer up, no good, left it short. Bell comes down with the rebound. She'll go the other way with it. Now she'll kick it off to Stalzer. Under 30 seconds to go here on the clock. There is 21 on the play, on the uh, shot clock, rather, as Leeper will have it. She is deep in front court. They're looking to just take some time off the clock. Bell will have it. Head coach Andre Bell saying, do not shoot, just dribble around. Leeper will have it. Ten seconds. Two on the shot clock, one on the shot clock, and we will have a shot clock violation, but they used all the time they could. As 5.4 seconds left to go here. Cotty will drop to four and seven on the season for the Stars. They will advance to three and one, riding a three-game win streak. Pruitt will have it. One second, she'll fire up a shot. No good, and that takes us to the final. At 68 48. As the Stars lead and win 68 to 48. We'll pause here and be back. We'll get into your scoring summary as well as hopefully get some thoughts and words from head coach Andre Bell. As we will pause and be back, you're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars Basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. Last Sentinel Firearms is your federally licensed and registered Type 7 FFL manufacturer dealer in Missouri, providing quality products to all types of sports enthusiasts, law enforcement, and individuals across the nation. Orders are currently being fulfilled, offering custom-built pistols and rifles from the AR platform with a guarantee of 100% American-made products. Visit their website at lastsentinelfirearms.com or call them at 417-684-7202 to find out what they've got for you. Last Sentinel Firearms, you are your last line of defense. Perfect, right? Actually, we were thinking of Rome. I know an agent there. Look at this view. This place is unbelievable. It's beautiful. We've been looking at Jamaica. Uh -huh. I know an agent there. Welcome to Jamaica. We love, oh, it. We love it. But we're thinking about Tokyo. Uh -huh. I know a guy. You know an agent, too. That's Kathy Rush at REMAX Jefferson City. Call her today at 573-761-3405. As a former veteran, for two years, I tried to get my disability, and nothing worked. Then I called Wes Swinigan, and he got the results that I really needed. I hear stories like this all the time, where people are overwhelmed with the system. As a former Social Security attorney, I will help you get the benefits that you deserve. Russ Swanigan lives and works in mid-Missouri, and he's here to help you. The help you deserve for the benefits you've earned. The law offices of Russ Swanigan. The following public service announcement is brought to you by the Eddie Goodell Society, Jefferson City Chapter 10, doing little things to make a big difference. Want to make a big difference in your community? Be kind to others, drive safely, and put litter in its proper place. Join us in celebrating Eddie Goodell's historic Major League appearance as a member of the St. Louis Browns by doing something nice for someone today. Take a walk, Eddie! Well, we're back here on our post-game show as we're joined by Stars head coach and Andre Bell. Coach Bell, uh, good job tonight, or today I should say. See, I'm still stuck in football mode, but getting the uh, third win in a row, how's it feel? You know, to, to just have a great supporting staff of fans 
here today. Um, it just feel good um, to come home. We've been on the road, you know, for the first five games, you know, even including Indiana State. But just to come home, you know, Stevens, just the environment around here is a special place. So to be here in front of our own home fans, to have the support, you know, just feel good to finally just come home and let them see how hard these ladies have been working. You did have to wait a few games for that, but finally get to play here in the home con the uh, home confines here. And the crowd w was great. They were very supportive. But, you know, your team led wire to wire. That's really all you can ask for. The one thing we want to do, I mean, we played a really, really tough opponent. Uh, just watching Cotty on film and just a team that really competes. And we knew we had to not only match that toughness, we had to exceed it. So that's something we talk about all week It's being a tough team playing with better fundamentals and putting ourselves in position in that last five minutes to have a chance to win. The girls came out of edge. They had a lot of focus this morning and shoot around. So, you know, they deserve this. It's more of them than me because they bought into what we were trying to do and we got it done. Well, watching uh, some of the previous games that you guys have played, one thing that we've, we've seen a little bit of is, is some turnovers. It do, did look like today there were a few, but it looked like the girls really have found a way to kind of correct some of those things and just play fundamental sound basketball. You know, that's the one thing, you know, sometimes you got to find a way to make them understand that we don't need the spectacular play. The best play you can make is a simple jump stop, two hand passes, and just be simple. And all this week, our main talk was fundamentals, fundamentals. Whether defensively, offensively, play with better fundamentals because they don't want to turn it over. They get in fast break situations, think we got to throw it behind the back. Let's just get the basket. And that's the number one thing. So we are really huge on fundamentals here. And we want to keep making sure we preach that because that's going to be a thing that we got to correct. Well, at one point, uh, Cotty was within five, and you guys were able to add back to that lead and get it back to 15 to 20. What did you tell the girls at that point when Cotty was kind of hanging around? They just wouldn't, wouldn't go away. That's what I say. The one thing about him, man, you know, coach do a good job, and we got to play better. The one thing I told those girls is the game is won when it's over, and we had to play better. And we had to get back out and pressure them because they're a team that play off comfort. And we were starting to let them get comfortable. So we got back in that pressure defensive mode. We started playing with better fundamentals. And I told them, we got to play to win the game. And we started playing better together, kept it simple. We was able to make some runs. We was able to get back in our pressure. I thought changing defenses for us was a factor. And we sometimes we stick with the one that go, whether that's the 13 or whether it's our 30 defense. And the girls just really wanted it. And I told him, you know, we can't have fundamental mistakes. And the number one thing we talk about, which really got us back in it, is three claps, refocus fast, and mindset matters. Well, as a four had another big game. She came on very strong here in this fourth quarter, and she ended up with 15 points, but came on with nine of those and uh, had several back-to-back -back buckets. She just was a force down there in the paint to be reckoned with. You know, Liz coming right along, you know, and that's one kid I called this summer when I took this job, and I told her from watching you, seeing what you can do. You can be the difference in this team when you buy into a level of playing hard, and she's bought into that, and we have to have her, but she's going to continually get better. She's finally started to believe in herself from a health standpoint, and she's just competing. You know, she's one of those people that got high IQ in basketball, and she understands what I want, so you kind of can trust her, so we got to make sure we reward her in it. Well, Coach, I'll let you get out of here, go celebrate the win. Any final thoughts for uh, before you go? You know, I just want to thank the fans, you know, and we want to send a shout out to uh, our athletic director. This is his daughter's birthday today, so happy birthday. That's to right. Her. And uh, we want to just make sure, you know, people come out and watch us because we feel like the hard work that we put in it, it will pay off. But we can't do it without great support and great fans, and we just love it. So appreciate everything, man. Thank you. Absolutely. Well, that's head coach in Andre Bell who moves the uh, team to 3-1 and one on the season and uh, most importantly got the home crowd the home opener off with a win here as uh, the Stars win by final of 68 to 48 here as uh, just a great game. They led wire to wire. Good competition. You knew that the Comets were not going to lay down, but uh, they, they had no problem getting past them here at Deb Duran Court and Silverthorne Arena. We're going to take a quick break and I'll get back and uh, get you your scoring summary as well as get you set for the next action for the Stars. This will take a uh, break and be back. You're listening to exclusive coverage of Stars basketball here on the Show Me Sports Network. 
There are things in life you should always do. Always say please and thank you. Always get a good night's rest and always take care of your teeth. After all, you're only given one set of permanent teeth to last you a lifetime. Southwest Dental Care is always the place to go for the highest quality dental care. They offer comprehensive general and cosmetic dentistry services for all patients of all ages. Their experienced and compassionate team is there to help you achieve lifelong oral health and a stunning smile. To find out more about Southwest Dental Care, call them at 573 634-4909 or visit southwestdentalcarejc.com to get the best smile in town you must dash to southwest dental care haven't seen an avon brochure in quite some time and running out of some of your favorite makeup fragrances or skincare products no need to worry avon representative michelle carty has got you covered michelle can consult with you on the newest line of products as well as get those that have become your must-haves you now have the opportunity to shop online 24-7 from the comfort of your own home and have your order shipped directly to your front door. To see how Michelle can help you out, find her on Facebook by searching Avon Carti. Live beautifully with Avon. At Centurion Cares, for more than three decades, their focus has been on exceeding customer expectations for contact center software solutions. Their innovative communication solutions include utility interactive voice response software that allows for smart communication features that let your utility deliver superior customer service 24-7. They also provide other streamlined services like automatic call distribution, automated customer callback, reporting, and quality assurance. To find out more about how Centurion Cares can help your business, call them at 727-421. 5300 or look them up online at centurioncares.com centurion cares innovative communication solutions we are state tech we are hands-on education when you choose the number one two-year college in the country you know you will be ready for your career that's why at state tech we say from the classroom to your career, we are the employer's choice. We are State Tech. Hello, Blake Gasaway here with the Show Me Sports Network. I've had the opportunity to have some amazing calls, including overtime touchdowns, walk-off home runs, and buzzer-beating baskets. But I've answered another call. That's to serve my community as a volunteer firefighter. Stop and think what would happen if your home or property caught fire and no one was there to put it out. Every day, volunteer firefighters not only save lives and property, but also respond to other emergencies. Nearly two-thirds of our nation's fire departments are manned by volunteer firefighters. And because of this, we simply need more volunteers to step up and answer the call. Stop by or contact your local fire department and see how you can become a volunteer firefighter today. I answered the call to serve my community. Will you? Well, the Stars victorious as they move to 3-1 uh, and one on the season. And for the Comets, they fall to four and seven on the season. Most importantly for the Stars, they're riding a three-game win streak as they are coming on and looking very good here early in the uh, season. As taking a look at your scoring summary, Try to tally that up right. Leading all scorers in tonight's contest for the Stars is sophomore guard Marvine Ross. She had 18 points leading all scorers. Leah Ezafor had a sophomore forward, had 15 points. She came on there, had nine points in the fourth quarter alone. Allison Moore, the junior guard, she had 14 points. Nine points put in by Addie Stalzer, the sophomore guard. Six points contributed by sophomore guard Alexis Scott Windham. Four points in the ball game for senior forward Sierra Leeper. And two points by sophomore guard India Lucas to round out their scoring in the ball game for the County College Comets. Their leading scores they were tied with sophomore forward Taylor Kuntz. She had 14. Also sophomore guard Olivia Pruitt each with 14. Nine points put in by freshman guard Sarah Montez Dioka. She had nine points. Five points by the freshman guard Sarah Munson. And three points by. Jada Valley, as well as McKenzie Wallers, each with three points. 
Our game was never tied, and we never had any lean changes. The closest that uh, Cotty ever came was five points before the Stars added on back to their lead. And the Stars won the quarter battle three out of the four quarters. They outscored the, the uh, Comets in the first, second, and fourth quarter. Third quarter is the only one that the Comets led scoring. They outscored the Stars 16-15 to 15 in the third quarter. Well, the next action for the Stars will be in a couple days as they will be in action on Tuesday as they will play at Webster University. That's set for a 5.30 tip-off. And then they will have a little break, be back in action on December 2nd, that game at William Woods University. That is the season opening conference play for the American Midwest Conference for the Stars. That'll be first tip at 5.30. And then they'll be on the road on December 4th. That'll be at the University of Health Science and Pharmacy in St. Louis. Again, that also a conference game. That's set for a 1 o'clock tip-off. And then uh, I'm thinking about it. I might have said kickoff. You know, some of these sports we all run together just trying to transition off of, foot, off of uh, football season into basketball. So in that game on the second is at 5.30 tip-off. Game on the fourth is 1 o'clock. And then they will be back home here on the 12th. That will be as they host the University of Science and Arts from Oklahoma. That's set for a 1 o'clock tip here at Deb Duran Court in Silverthorne Arena here in Columbia. Well, that's going to do it for today's broadcast, as hopefully you've enjoyed our broadcast here on the Show Me Sports Network. It's been a pleasure. Blake Gazaway here with you. It's been a pleasure bringing you the broadcast, and I look forward to bringing you several more. I'm not sure if we'll hit the road or not. We may try to get down to William Woods University, but if not, I know we will be on the air on the December 12th as the University of Science and Arts of Oklahoma comes to town, tip off at 1 o'clock. So if we can get to Williams Woods, we'll try to do that. If not, we'll definitely be on on the 12th. So until we talk to you then, so long, and have a great rest of your afternoon. You've been listening to the biggest and absolute best game coverage in mid-Missouri on the exclusive home for Stephen Stars basketball, the Show Me Sports Network, and the Stars Radio Network. Simulcast with video on Team One Sports. Blake. Serving fans throughout the Midwest and even more around the world, this is the Show Me Sports Network. The preceding was an exclusive broadcast property presentation of the Show Me Sports Network and was a high-fidelity all-digital broadcast. This broadcast is copyright by the Show Me Sports Network for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this broadcast without the Show Me Sports Network's written consent is prohibited.